to the power of 5. We we'll call it as index because it has a base of numerical value and also variable. So 2x equal to the power of 5. So this 5 is called as index. 5 is called as index and 2x is the base. 2x is the base. So index can be anything like uh, it has the base of numerical value and also the variable to both are present in this 2x go to the power of 5. So for example the base is x the base is variable power of 5 then 5 is called as exponent this 5 is called as exponent and x is the base coming to the power if the constant is raised like 2 to the power of 5 we call it as a power 5 we call as power and 2 as a base so this is the difference between the exponent and power index we we'll call it is the combination of variable and constant that means 2x 2x to the power of 5 the 5 is called index the 5 we we'll call it as index then variable is raised we we'll call it as exponent and the constant is raised 2 to the power of 5 the 5 is called as power so let's go to the loss of exponents Already we have discussed the exponent which is variable is raised. So some of the loss of exponents. So let's take first one. A to the power of n. So a to the power of n to a to the power of n 
when the bases are three, we'll add their exponents. Here we have the bases, same bases. We'll write as one base and we'll add the exponents when bases are equal. Add their multiplication. The fact we add their exponents into the mode of n plus n. So here we go to the second one. The bases are equal and the other difference is the exponents are different. The we write into the power of n minus n. So there is this common relation between these two is they have the same bases, but here multiplication here division. So when they are in multiplication, we added them, when they are in division, and we subtracted them. This is a common relation between these two. Let's go to the next one. A by b equal to the power of m and a to b equal to the power of m. A by b go to power m. So this m is belongs to the numerator and denominator for both. So we can write in this form a power m divided by b power m. A power m by b power m. So for all this, a and b are any real numbers. For all this, Loss of exponents where a and b are real numbers. It belongs to R. So, so a to be a by b whole power m this belongs to for both. So m is belongs to for both. So a power m by b power m. Similarly, it becomes for multiplication a power m into a power a power m into b power m, so m comes for both, and then the multiplication. There is a common relation between third and four. Here they are in division and multiplication. When they are in division, we have applied the exponent for both numerator and denominator, a power m by b power m, and when they are in multiplication, we have applied them a power m into b power m. So this there is a similarity for third and four, and coming to the a power 0 A power 0 Where A is not equal to 0 When base is not 0 real number When base is a not 0 real number Because we said A, B belongs to R So where A is not equal to 0 Base is not equal to 0 Then any real number to the power of 0 Except the base is not equal to 0 Then answer will be 1 any non-zero real number to the power of zero is equal to one. So a to the power of one is equal to a to, sorry a to the power of zero is equal to one. And uh, coming to next one, there is a common relation between six, seven, and eight or three. So let's take this one group. A to the power of minus n has a negative exponent. So when we take this negative exponent as positive, it comes to the denominator 1 by a to the power of m. We have taken this exponent for the denominator. So it became a 1 by a to the power of m. Similarly, when we apply if it is a constant number, any number, for example, this is 1. Uh, actually, this is not the loss of exponent. Actually, this is not the loss of exponent. For example, we have taken the place of m as 1. So to understand when the value of m is 1, what happens? So that is the reason we have taken 1. So as a law of, law of exponent, we have taken it. So when we apply this rule 7 to the when we apply the rule for 6 and 7. We apply the rule of 6 to the 7 and it becomes 1 by a to the power of 1. So because when we have taken the n to the denominator part, to the denominator part, so it became 1. So let's write this 7, 1 there. So 7, 1 is 7, 1 is equals to a to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 by a to the power of 1 because when we have taken 
this one as the denominator it becomes to the positive value 1 by a to the power of 1 similarly let's take let's apply this sixth rule of loss of exponent 6 1 for a 1 as it is so we here we have taken this one exponent to the denominator became numerator sorry we have taken this one to the denominator became positive Similarly, let's take this one to the denominator part that is 1 divided by a, a by b goes to the power of n. So let's see once again a to the power of minus n. We have taken to the denominator part so 1 by a power n. Similarly, we have taken that a by b to the denominator so n became positive value 1 by a by b whole power n. We got it. So here we can understand that there is one more rule can be applied for a one. It's not the final. So if you observe third one, a by b whole power n is a power n by b power n. So we can apply the rule for this a by b whole power n. So third one is a by b whole power n, a power n by b power n. So this is a by b whole power n. Let's apply this third rule for this. So it becomes 1 by a to the power x and by b power n. So this is the denominator part. So let's take this denominator to numerator and becomes b power n divided by a power n. So finally what we understood is a by b go to the power of minus n is equals to b power n by a power n. So that can be written as b by a whole power n. Because uh, using the rule, same rule of three, using the uh, same rule of three, we can write it as uh, let's write this a power n, a power minus one is one by a to the down because we need some space here. So, so a by b goes to the power of minus n is equals to b by a whole, b power n by a power n. So same rule can be applied third one. So we can write as the same power. Uh, that is b by a b to the power of n. So finally, we got the one of the law of identity for a one. This is the eighth one. Eighth one is this final one. So this is the second one. We have repeated that to understand clearly. So let's recall a power n into a power n, a power n plus n, a power n by a power n is a power n minus n. A by b whole power n is a power n divided by b power n. And a into b whole power n is equal to a power n into b power n. So there is a common relation between 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. And this is a unit 1. A power 0 is 1. And when a is not equal to 0, we can take any number other than 0 as a base. So 6, 7 is a common uh, similar relation we have. a power n minus 1 is equal to 1 by a power 1. a power n. So a power minus 1 is equal to 1 by a power 1. Similarly, we apply this rule, uh, apply the same rule for 6 1 to this, so it became denominator positive. Then we transpose, we apply the 6 rule here, uh, third rule to this, and we got finally d by b whole power minus n is equal to b by a whole power n. And uh, these are the laws of exponents.